So with Nvidia having just announced the new 3000 series GPUs like the 3070, 3080, 3090, people are excited and they want to know what type of motherboard, what type of CPU is going to pair best with this type of setup. So let's talk about it and let's go over some options. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below with any questions you may have about the new 3000 series GPUs. All right, so Nvidia just announced these and everybody's super excited. We have the 3070, 3080, and the really crazy 3090, which is gonna be like Titan level performance. It's 1500 bucks, but it's definitely a lot of performance. So I've been getting a lot of questions. What type of CPU should I pair this with? So let's tackle all these questions. We're gonna address the 3070, the 3080, and the 3090, and that way we can see some possible build options that we're going to have coming up. All right, now first, let's talk about the 3070. We have to remember that we don't know the benchmark numbers yet. Nvidia just announced a couple things. They did say that the 3070 is gonna be faster than a, a 2080 Ti, but we don't know if that's gonna be in traditional frames per second, or if possibly they mean in ray tracing or something like that. But anyway, the 3070 is definitely gonna be a very, very fast and powerful GPU. Traditionally, the 2070 was great for 1440p kind of gaming. I'd say that's really the sweet spot or really high refresh rate 1080p gaming 4k the 2070 super was okay but i think now the 3070 is going to be really really flexible especially if it's as good as a 2080 ti it means that you'll be able to use it for 4k gaming even though we have 8k gaming now on the horizon with the 3090 but i still think the 3070 i think most people that are going to buy that that have that in their budget most likely are going to be doing either ultra wide or even more likely 1440p 100 144 hertz gaming i think this card is absolutely perfect for that and possibly even nvidia's 360 refresh rate monitors that they also announced that's going to be pretty crazy having said that what cpu and motherboard combination is this particular gpu going to work best with i think in my opinion especially if you're doing high refresh rate gaming 1440p maybe even 1080p at really high like 240 hertz or more I think that this is going to mean that you really need a high clocking CPU. Forget multi-threaded performance and a lot of cores. I think that CPU single core performance is definitely going to be probably a little bit better with this 3070 if you're doing those type of games. Remember, the higher up that you go in resolution, like let's say if you're doing 4K, the CPU isn't as much of an issue because all that stress gets put on the GPU. But if you're going to be doing 1080p or 1440p really high refresh rate gaming, you want to get the best frame rates that you can, especially in competitive games. So my first choice, if it's in your budget, would be something like a 10900K for Intel. It's 10 core, but most importantly, it clocks really, really high. And then anything else along those lines are going to work really great, like the 9900K, even the 8700K, if you overclock it a little bit, it's still great in single core performance. Then you have, you know, the 9700K would be good as well. Any of those chips with any of the motherboards that let you overclock a little bit, I think is going to work really, really well for the 3070, just because they're going to be hitting these really high refresh rates. Now, if you're going to be doing some content creation or you have other ideas for your GPU as well as your processor that's not solely gaming, I would steer you in the direction of AMD Ryzen. Of course, if it's in your budget, once again, the 3950X is an absolute monster of a CPU, 16 core, 32 threads, and it also clocks pretty nicely. You're not going to get exactly the performance that you will out of the Intel CPUs, but the AMD Ryzen arguably is a much better processor overall. Now, if you're also going to be doing some content creation and you want a general better rounded CPU, then I would definitely steer you towards the AMD Ryzen CPUs. At the top of the chain, of course, you're going to have the 3950X, which is actually really, really good for gaming as well. It's not quite as high as the Intel 10900K in terms of single clock speed, but it does respectably well. And then it just destroys the Intel processor in terms of multi-threaded performance since it has 16 cores, 32 threads. And you can go down the list depending on your budget. And going down down the list i think all these cpus will do fairly well including the 3600 but just remember if you're going to be doing some really high refresh rate gaming and you really want to be a little bit more on the edge i would steer you towards the better performing cpus even from ryzen maybe try to get at least a 3700 or something like that but in general for a 3070 with 1440p or 1080p high refresh rate gaming 
definitely something that has a really high core count, either the 10900K, 3950X, or if your budget's a little bit lower, the 3700 will work as well. Even the little bit newer Intel, like the 10700K, those are all pretty much fantastic as well. Because at these resolutions, the CPU still does play a role in your performance. Now, as we step up to the 3080, which apparently is gonna offer some insane performance, twice the performance of a 2080, this is definitely going to be a 4K card, and of course you can also use it for 1440p, 144Hz high refresh rate gaming, or even 360Hz uh, refresh rate like Nvidia is releasing now. So assuming you'll likely use this card to game in 4K, a really high clock speed CPU is not necessarily essential like it is with lower resolutions, so I don't think you necessarily need to go towards the 10900K, even though if you do want to be doing some content creation and still have a very beefy CPU, that will do fine. But at 4K, I would say that this is where the AMD Ryzen CPUs maybe start to present a little bit better value, just because you're generally going to be getting more for your money. Um, for example, recently I picked up a 3950X and it was about 660 bucks, which yes, it's a little bit more expensive than the 10900K, but it has absolutely insane performance in terms of multi-threaded work. Even the 3900X in terms of multi-threaded applications will perform better than something from Intel. And if you're doing 4K games, I mean, I don't think you're going to have as much of an issue getting those really high refresh rates just because like we mentioned 4k is really going to be driven mostly by the GPU the CPU does not have as much of an effect here so having said that with the 3080 the 10900 K can still work especially if you pair it with like an apex or formula motherboard you can overclock it you know you can do really nice water cooling in this case maybe I would be switching over to AMD maybe doing the 3950 X or maybe even the 3900 X I think it's going to be really good in content creation as well as still be able to play all the games that you want but it's pretty much open the cpu isn't as much of a bottleneck at this point it's really on the gpu and if the 3080 has the performance that we've been promised i think it's going to be really really exceptional so you can't go too wrong and of course i don't think i would pair something lower end with the 3080 just because it's a very high-end gpu so i would stick with at least maybe a 3800x or a 3900x go above that um, and with intel maybe like a 9900k or 10700k something at least eight core 16 threads and above um, just because it's a very high-end gpu you can bear it with something cheaper but you want to make sure to have something that's pretty capable for all the other tasks you may be performing with your pc and then lastly we reach the 3090 this is going to be a crazy high performing titan level gpu Definitely 4K gaming and beyond. I mean, NVIDIA during their presentation, they even had 8K gaming. So basically here, the CPU really isn't going to be as much of an issue. It's really all going to be mostly on the GPU. If you're doing content creation and things that are actually going to need the, both the GPU and the CPU, that's going to be a little bit of a different story. But in this case, if you have a 3090, I just think it just makes sense to pair it with a really high-end CPU just to keep the system well-rounded. Um, that way, if you do go to tackle some tasks, that maybe are more CPU heavy. Not everything's going to go towards the GPU, of course. There may still be some tasks you do on your computer that's going to be CPU bound. I definitely would pair this with something very high end. On the Intel side, for pure gaming, a 10900K I think would pair perfectly with this. On AMD side, you know, the Ryzen 3950X matches fairly well with this. On the AMD side, if you're going to be doing a lot of gaming, the 3950X I think is going to pair perfectly with the 3090. And of course, if you're doing heavier content creation, this is going to be the perfect GPU for like a Threadripper system, 24, 32, maybe even 64 core. I think really here the sky's the limit. You really want to have a nice high-end CPU to pair with this GPU. Not that you're going to necessarily need it for gaming, but if you have a GPU like this, you may be doing other type of rendering and content creation. So I think you're going to want at least like a 3950X or one of the thread rippers. On the Intel side, like I said, for gaming, a 10900K. Now, X299, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because traditionally it'd be awesome to pair a 10980XE or even a 1040XE. Traditionally, Intel really got that ground. But the way it's gone lately, those Intel options aren't as appealing. And I did see finally the 10980XE for sale at Micro Center. It's around $1199, which is considerably more than the 3950X, a CPU that really matches the performance and beats it in a lot of cases. So it really doesn't make that much sense for $500 more. In that case, if you want to spend that much, I would just go towards a Threadripper or something like that that's going to have really, really crazy performance. But in my opinion, I think a 3950X is going to be fantastic to pair it with 
the 3090. That way you're getting not only pretty good gaming performance with the CPU, but as well as still getting exceptional multi-threaded performance. Not to mention that the price, I think for what the CPU is, it's definitely one of the superstar CPUs of the current generation. All right guys, so I hope this little discussion kind of helped you a little bit. Just form some opinions on some possible builds, possible CPUs to use with your new 3070, 3080, or possibly even 3090 GPUs. We'll see when they come out exactly what the performance is going to be, how available they'll be, and we're definitely going to be doing some builds on the channel with them. So remember to subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.